I think we all should, you know, I don't know, just get into it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kami and welcome to the Chameleon family. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more. So today's video is going to be all about how to captivate your sex appeal as a feminine, divine feminine woman and how to give off sensuality. So um, yeah, I'm going to have five tips to share with you guys. And I feel like this topic is really, really important because it's not really talked about a lot. And having sex appeal and being sensual is very important as a woman. Um, I think sometimes it gets misconstrued because... Uh, there's a thin line in a lot of people's eyes of what is acceptable and what is not acceptable behavior for a woman in regards to um, the kind of sex part or the sensual part of our being. I want to kind of shed some light on this topic because it is okay. It is okay to be sensual. It is okay to be sexy. It is okay to bask in your sex appeal as a woman. And there are ways that you can sharpen it that are still very tasteful, very endearing, and captivating more than maybe a different approach. Um, some people feel like there's a certain way, you know, you have to captivate a man or a woman in this sense. And um, being sensual doesn't have anything to do with having sex. Let's just like cut that out right here. So being sensual or having sex appeal does not automatically mean that if you are captivating a person, you want to go sleep with them at the end of the night. You can show sex appeal towards a woman you can and, and not be a lesbian or not be gay. Um, so there is a sort of energy that just comes along with it when it's done right. So uh, I wanted to kind of share those tips with you just in case you want to kind of just give your sex appeal your you know your sexual aura a little umph and um, if you needed some help in that department so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it and I feel like as a divine woman you definitely have to have this kind of sensual aura about yourself because it's it ties hand in hand with being a confident woman being sure of yourself and um, I think we all should you know I don't know, just get into it. <laughs> I don't know what else there is to say. I mean, I love being in my sensual energy all the time. And there's a time and a place to kind of spruce it up or bring it down a little bit. Um, but I feel like it's definitely something that I have grown into and my confidence has spiked a lot. So the first thing I would say is to have mirror time. Adore yourself. So I have mirror time all the time. Um, sometimes it's directly when I get up in the morning um, or maybe throughout the day. But you want to spend a few moments in the mirror adoring yourself, looking at your features, looking at your body, looking at your hair, your stance. Um, if you squint your eyes a certain way, how do you look? If you put your lips a certain way, how do you look? Um, and sorry, I'm kind of adoring myself right now in the viewfinder. but. Um, you want to do that because you want to learn all about your body in all aspects, your face, your curves, your flaws, um, your perfections, your imperfections. And yes, I did say perfections because we are divine creatures, honey. He ain't make no mistakes, okay? So you want to start to identify certain things that you love about yourself and you will in turn start it have it revolve like this and it'll be an everlasting love you have for yourself and once you have that you'll start to notice that you will capitalize on those features you like so if you like your eyes right and if you refer back to um, my previous video where I talked about how to be feminine, where I talked about eye contact. So now those two will go hand in hand. You love your eyes and then you're supposed to be already working on your eye contact. So now there's a way that you, you know, can just look at a person and 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 bring them in. You, I know you feel it. I know you feel it on camera, okay? So yes, adoring yourself, mirror time. I think that's really important. Um, I like to just, you know, look at myself, observe, start to love. There's certain things that maybe I didn't notice before. Maybe I had a mole here or a freckle here or something like that. And get to love yourself, guys. This is a self-love um, life coaching series. And that is the base of everything. We need to love ourselves. 
ourselves as who we are, okay? That leads me to number two, which is self-care rituals. So whether that may be dancing, which is really proven to enhance not only um, your chakras and balance yourself out, but it also helps you with your sensual energy when you are dancing, releasing those endorphins. Also, if you would like to meditate during this time, bring all the stillness and the quietness to yourself, um, you can really learn a lot about yourself by just being still and being quiet. So there's the more chaotic way dancing and releasing and then there is the more relaxed quiet way and then also um, don't forget your pamper dates so your bubble baths your face mask your nails your hair all of these things will help you bring and center yourself into your sensuality you can really let go and let loose and i love to dance you guys if you follow me on instagram you know i always talk about my dance parties i have so many dance parties whether that's with my mom and my family or just by myself with my personal dance parties that's when i really get into it and just dance and love my body and it just brings out such a sensual nature and it unlocks certain things within yourself that will help you be more confident when you are trying to exude it to other people tip number three which is lingerie is a must ladies lingerie is not just for other people okay lingerie is for yourself so i would highly suggest you picking up just a few matching sets whatever you like um, that really complement your body no matter what size you are girls this is not a weight thing this is not a size thing this is not none of that over here on this channel we are all beautiful and I feel like you need to make sure you know it first because people only see you the way you see yourself. Let me say that one more time. People only see you the way you see yourself. So if you know you are confident, sexy woman, that's what you will receive. I know um, you guys pick up on a lot of different women where they walk in the room and you can just tell automatically that's what we are striving for here um so yes lingerie is a must i feel like you can just wear it around the house sometimes underneath a little silky robe um you don't have to be going nowhere special but just make sure you know you are treating yourself as the sexy divine woman that you would like to be treated as so you it starts with the home it starts inside so lingerie will definitely help you unlock those sensual feelings about yourself it'll get you in tune it'll get you feeling sexy without even trying that leads me to tip number four which of course I was going to include this because I am a big advocate personal time okay not just sensual encounters with other people but with yourself I feel like this topic is such taboo with women I don't know if it still is but I hope that it's not because masturbation is so healthy orgasms are literally a deep connection within yourself and the universe and your inner being i feel like it's really essential to have these experiences with yourself not only to learn your body for yourself so that when you are with another partner you know how you want to be pleased but when you know your body on that level, it opens up so much more for you. And there's so much power and so much enlightenment in um, just exploring your body and having an orgasm. And especially when you are doing that alone, you are tapping into just a different kind of realm. So I highly suggest you have some sensual personal time if you want to um, get a little closer and a little deeper to your sensual sexual side. This will, I'm telling you, it's not only for the benefit of, you know, trying to rush to get there. Really take your time, set the tone, light some candles if you want, wear your lingerie, caress yourself. Like, don't just rush into it just for the, um, for the climax. Really start to see, you know, what's going on in your mind, in your body, down there, everything. And I tell you, if you practice this a little bit more, that sensual energy will just, it will, it will start building. So don't be afraid, <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't be afraid. 
that leads me to the last tip which is to always be mindful so you want to be mindful of the energy that you are putting out now that you are practicing all of these things when you go out into the real world you'll be aware of yourself so be mindful of your posture be mindful of the way you walk your appearance i have a video on how to always look your best if you guys want to see that um but if you guys would like outfit ideas because i didn't show outfits i just gave tips let me know down below and i will show you you guys some really feminine and sexy outfits to put together for any occasion i think there's a hair on my lip <laughs> um so yes your eye contact the way you walk your aura your energy once you have practiced all of these things and you start to strengthen them at home when you go out in a crowd Sometimes you may not even notice that you're doing it because you've practiced it so much. So just keep practicing. And then once you put in the work, it will come like this. So just a little personal story of mine. Um, I have always been a kind of a sensual person just by nature. I am Scorpio. Um, that is my main sign, my star sign. So I feel like I bask in my sexual energy a lot, even when I'm not aware of it. And um, now that I've been practicing these things even more, I just feel like I just own my sexuality and my sensual just being and I feel like it definitely shows I get a lot of attention from men and women um, and not like I said in a way that they want to sleep with me but it's just like they're um, intrigued they're, they're drawn in and um, that's how you know you're doing it right when you have someone's full attention when they're captivated by you and they're just basking in your energy in that time so that's what i kind of want to touch on um this will help and lead to if you are trying to be more in the dating world you can apply these tips as well but i'm just in an overall sense of trying to help you just be more uh sensual and it's okay to be sensual we are sensual beings that's why we have senses and like i said it doesn't have anything to do with going to bed with anybody or having sex or your sexual identity or your sexuality being sensual is very separate from that and once you understand that you'll be able to tap into it in a mature way so i hope these tips were helpful i hope you were inspired to kind of just strengthen your sensuality a little bit and don't be afraid of it um it is okay to be a sensual being that's what we are and yeah enjoy it so i hope you guys enjoy let me know down below what other content around these topics you would like to see oh and before i go hopefully if you made it to the end of the video i would like to start doing more q and a so you guys send me over questions or dilemmas and me kind of talk about them and give you guys advice or the answer in a video form so if you are into that i know i get a lot of dms and stuff about relationship issues and so i would love to talk about those or just yourself in general self-love body issues anything you have going on that you need advice on let me know and then um yeah i can Get a few of those questions in each video and just do a whole video answering them. So if that's something you would like to see, make sure you hit me up, send me a DM or an email. My information is always down below. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram to keep up with me on a daily and I will see you in my next one. Peace.